Hey guys, how's it going here? Uh, well, you know, kind of stinks. This is an update, but I made you a beautiful video showing me cutting all the kale, weighing it out, and everything. Um, but unfortunately, I had the air pump running. And when I went to listen to it, was it listenable? Listenable. Is that a new word? Well, anyways, you could hear, but, you know, I had the phone close to the air pump, and it was loud and so no good guys but anyways i'm going to tell you what i discovered okay cracky side dwc um first thing i pulled off the first bit of growth from these and from this side five and a half ounces this side six and a half ounces now another thing i discovered notice how this plant here which is actually two plants in there and this plant here you see the stalk of it comparison well, the only difference I can see is one certain thing, and that is that in the lights, I have a 6,500 Kelvin and a 2,700 Kelvin. The spot where the plants are growing big, 2,700 Kelvin bulb. The other side, 6,500. Now, I was under the assumption from what I had read and looked into that the 6,500 was more for the growing of the greens and everything and, and, and the growth vegetative plants and the, six, uh, the 2,700 was for um, the blooming part, the phase of the plants. So having discovered that, uh, from what I see here, and maybe somebody already knows and I'm just beating a dead horse, but the, uh, the 2,700 Kelvin balls, which are actually cheaper and a lot more readily available uh, seems to be doing a better job I'm gonna be doing some more experimentation with that the next one I'm gonna do I want to have it straight maybe cracky because to me the weight and anything it's just not worth putting an air stone in it at least on kale so far from what I've discovered I'll be doing other plants as well to figure that out um, another thing I want to touch base with you about I don't know if you can see it but let me zoom in and show you right there hopefully it it does it so it's three little bumps. I know it's a little blurry. Sorry about that. But those are um, aphids. Yeah. And I, if you see my aquaponics video, I think they came in from a um, uh, Brussels sprout plants I bought to start. I had them in here. And let me show you the difference between a plant that's got aphids on it and a plant that doesn't. <laughs> see these two broccoli plants right here? Guess which one has the aphids? You guessed it, the one on the left. Well, yeah, I pulled off the leaf actually just the other day that had it, but there's still a little bit more. What I want to do is, I'm going to pull these plants out the bucket, take them in there and just wash the leaves really good and get rid of the aphids that way. I bought some neem oil. Actually, I sent my wife to do it. Um, I thought it was pure neem oil, but it had 70% neem oil, neem oil, 30% inert ingredients. I'm like, inert ingredients, what the heck is that? So I did some research, come to find out inert ingredients can be anything. Uh, it's just you're not going to tell you. It can be highly poisonous and may not be that bad at all. Usually if it says caution, it's not so bad, which is what that said. You know, it says have, have caution, warning, and danger on the front label. That said caution. And so I decided not to use it because um, if you read the inside of the, uh, the label, it actually said... Uh, you know, it can cause this, that, and the other thing. Don't. So I'm just like, forget it. I'll wash them off. No big deal. Uh, if you look here, the lettuces are doing quite nice. These are both in the DWC grow. They come out of the same six packs because I bought these two. I got a bunch of starters to go, but I was just really wanting to get this underway. So I bought some seed six packs. These ones here, the reason they're not as big as these is because for two reasons. One, I didn't get them out of the six pack till about three or four days later. Secondly, they never had a light. They were just sitting there in the window. So that's how those two are growing. This is probably a little crowded over here for this bucket. I got five spots in it. But man, I tell you, they are really starting to kick in the gear. Um, if I can get, excuse me, pull it If I can get this kind of growth in that crowded of a bucket, I'm kind of happy. Now, I'm, these are running off of air as well. Let me check these for any kind of bugs. I don't see any. I did see a few fungus gnats flying around in here. Um, John at Indoor Hydroponics has a pretty good video where he shows what he uses for that. I'll probably give some of that a try. Um, but anyways, so there it is. That's the update, third update. It's a little bit longer than a week. Sorry about that. 
but we'll keep the scale experiment going and I really think that I'm going to be running to cracky a lot more. I'm going to probably try to some on two on some blooming plants as well. I would show you this tomato plant, but it's an embarrassment. My own stupid fault. Got lazy. I don't even tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you what I did. It came in one of those pots, you know, that you just plant in the ground. What did I do? Stuck it in the bucket with the pot. Put the uh, the soil, I mean the water, right to the bottom of it. Figured, ah, that'll wake up, no big deal. Well, it was a big deal. I should have uh, cleaned off the roots like I always do. Uh, I'm thinking that's the problem. Maybe there was something else to it. I don't know, but it seems like it's making a little bit of a comeback. There's some new growth down there on the bottom. So hopefully it will. Let me check out the roots on that baby. See if there's anything. Yeah, there's starting to be some roots come through. So actually, I think there is some hope for it yet. I took it out and cleaned it off. So I think it's going to come back. I'm going to try to nurse it. And see if I can't bring something back to life that I had a part in probably killing. Anyways, guys. Hey, thanks. That's it. You know, for the update. Appreciate it. You guys got any suggestions, hints, whatever. Love to hear them. You guys have a great day. Um, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.